if I asked you to name a famous British band or musician, you'd probably find that quite easy. The same if I asked you to name a famous British actor or actress, you'd probably find that quite easy. And the same with an author, which is another word for writer, somebody who writes books, we'd call them an author. You'd probably list Shakespeare or another famous British author. But what if I asked you, what is the most commonly eaten type of cuisine in Britain? And cuisine is a noun. This refers to the place where a food comes from, usually. So we could say British cuisine, French cuisine, American cuisine, Asian cuisine. I think you get the idea. So yeah, my question is, what type of cuisine do you think is popular in England? This is a question that a lot of my students ask me when we're having our conversation-based classes. And actually, in my experience, people don't really know what British people eat. So today's vlog is going to be about the popular cuisine in Britain, or rather, one particular type of food which British people generally love to eat. So, you may be surprised. Stay with me and you'll find out. So, any guesses what we're having for tea today? I can tell you that it smells incredibly fragrant. And fragrant is an adjective which means that something has a sweet or a pleasant smell and this smells incredibly fragrant. Hmm, I wonder what we're having for tea. All right, so this is your final clue. If you haven't guessed yet what we're having for tea, this dish involves rice. So I'm just quickly going to drain off the rice with some boiling water. That's what we do, we drain off the extra water. Woo! And I'm using a colander, that's this green thing. Noun, colander. Okay, so while tea is cooking, I'm just quickly going to set the table. That's what we do as a verb, we set the table, which means to place the knives and forks at the table. Another word we could use would be cutlery. Cutlery means knives, forks, spoons, things that we use for eating. And to finish off today's meal, we're gonna be having a strawberry trifle for pudding. That's right, we don't say dessert in the UK, we say pudding. It means a dessert, but in British English. So did you guess what one of the most popular dishes is in the UK? We can call a this, a dish, basically. Well, if you haven't guessed, it is, of course, the good old Ruby Murray. Now, that's a slang word. We call the curry, that's what it is, a curry. We call it a Ruby Murray. It's just slang because curry rhymes with Murray, and Ruby Murray was a very famous singer in the 1950s when Indian food was becoming popular in the UK, so that's why it just became a Ruby Murray. Um, you will have noticed that I didn't make this meal from scratch. I could make it from scratch, and often at the weekend, I am quite a good cook. I do make a good curry, but it's a Thursday night, so I just decided to do it the easy way. Um, and I didn't make it from scratch. If we make something from scratch, that means that we do it from the very beginning and we do every single part of it. Um, there's no question that this curry is not going to be very authentic. If I presented it to an Indian person, they would probably say it tastes nothing like authentic Indian cuisine. It's definitely been adjusted for the British palate. Palate is a noun. Everybody has a palate, that's the roof of your mouth, but it also refers to your ability to taste things. And so if they brought very spicy food to the UK, I don't think most British people would like it. So this is very mild. That's an adjective we can use to describe food. You might remember I previously used that adjective to describe the weather, but I can also use it to describe food. Mild means not spicy in this case. But yeah, it's not authentic. Um, it's not very spicy, and we could say that it doesn't have very much heat. That's an alternative way to say that something isn't spicy. But uh, I'm hungry, and it smells great, so I'm gonna dig in now. And that's what we can do as a phrase of verb. We can dig in, it means start eating. You can tell your guests to dig in, but it looks like they've already begun. Do you guys all like a curry? Silence is golden. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow.